There is Michigan, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and uh, she grabbed our attention not so much because of what she said, talking about these new voting laws, but what really caught our attention, what was behind her head. Check, take a look at this pillow. It's a Dr. Fauci pillow, just casually sitting there on display, but why? There seems to be this unhealthy obsession with Dr. Fauci from people like Governor Whitmer there. The idea that a doctor would want to spend his entire career working in government bureaucracy seems curious to us. But here's more proof of the cult of personality that is Dr. Fauci. There were these Dr. Fauci treats, cupcakes and donuts and hats and shirts and mugs and even face masks. There's a children's book, a comic book, but not everyone is fascinated with Fauci. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has introduced a bill that would slash his salary down to zero, zero dollars a year. Quote, we will not comply act is what it's called. It would also prevent discrimination in, uh, against the unvaccinated. Greene also tweeted what she believed her COVID protection is, CrossFit, doing the deadlift there, also doing some pull-ups here on video. She posted this video herself. Let's welcome in our meme team this week. Let's welcome in Stacey Washington, host of Stacey on the Right on Sirius XM. She's also the co-chair of Project 21. Also back with us again, Turning Point USA contributor, lawyer, and Republican strategist Aaron Elmore, and our friend New York City Councilman Joe Borelli. Great to see you all today. Thank you. Be here. All right, uh, raise your hands, guys. Who has some Fauci merch? Anybody? Joe? No. 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 I, I thought maybe, ironically, since you live in New York, there's a lot, you know, people walk around Brooklyn with ironic dress all the time. But uh, no, Joe, no Fauci merch here. But why do you think, Joe, we'll go to you first. There is, you know, why would Gretchen Whitmer put a Fauci pillow behind her in her interviews? Everybody, it's like this, uh, you know, virtue signaling only with Fauci as a deity. It's just, it's just so bizarre. I mean, first of all, I, I'm upset. I searched all over Amazon to see if I can get a John Bachman pillow uh, in time they, for this hit. They, and don't they just exist, didn't yeah. have it yet. They must have been sold out. Yes. Um, but it, it's just bizarre. People have treated this guy, Dr. Fauci, and, and God bless him, he's a public servant. I, I wish him luck. I want him to be right. But they have treated this person as, as like the Oracle of Delphi when you can go down to the boardwalk at Seaside Heights, New Jersey, and get a psychic uh, to give you as accurate predictions of, of COVID as Dr. Fauci has and sometimes. What has been the benefit to the people of Michigan from this cult worship of Dr. Fauci? I mean, presuming Governor Whitmer, you know, followed every Fauciism, every Fauci rule, right. every Fauci diktat to a T, Michigan isn't doing very well when you compare it to its neighboring states uh, and to the nation as a whole. So people got to drop the Fauci worship. They should get into the Fauci questioning. We should question all our government officials. And if they do that, they'll probably on a better, be on a better footing in the future. You know, Stacey, for all the claims of this cultish following of President Trump on the right, you know, there does seem to be this kind of holy ascension of Dr. Fauci and other officials because they, they don't seem to have the same kind of, I guess I'll just put it, they don't have the same faith that, that conservatives seem to have uh, in a higher power. So they put their faith in people like Dr. Fauci. Well, it's true that if you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping something. We all worship something. So, uh, you know, the Fauci craze is it's it's cultish, but it's someone fun that they can glom onto and all virtue signal to each other. The 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 pillow is placed so that you can see it, so people will know I'm a part of the group that uh, adheres to Fauci's word as opposed to you know looking to yourself, to your own private doctor, looking to God, the, trusting in prayer and trusting in the fact that we can all take better care of ourselves to help prevent uh, actually catching coronavirus because you can make yourself a lot more immune to viruses by being healthier, by being thinner, by taking vitamin D, et cetera. So people who think about those things, they're not Fauciites. People who just look to him for him, whatever new whim he's going to express, he changes his mind more than I change tops for TV. It's crazy. <laughs> so he's, he's not the person we want to trust. But he is a career bureaucrat. He he did express relief when Biden came into office. He did kind of stab President Trump in the back after President Trump allowed him to remain, even though he was wildly unpopular and inaccurate. And as a doctor, the worst thing you can be is inaccurate. Right. So it's the pillow means I'm one of you. I'm a certain type of person. It's a virtue signal, and it shows who she really worships. I worship God. And Stacey, God. at least you put your pillows on your couch behind you. I don't know why we would have a pillow on a shelf I, unless it's just solely for virtue signaling. Aaron, I also think, too, there's, uh, with, you know, folks in our peer group, 
um, all of us professionals, upwardly mobile. There's there's a bit, I think, of built-in animosity when you see someone like Dr. Fauci who's been a, in a position that long. This guy is a servant <laughs> to nothing but his ego. His ego is completely out of control. He has been operating in Washington for as long as Joe Biden, and that should tell you something. You're right. Go spend some time with the grandparents, but why don't you do this? Disclose to the American public that you may have some financial gain in this vaccine. He is not an unbiased, unmotivated individual here. We know that he has certain alliances within this vaccine process that are standing to make him a lot of money. Yeah. So truthfully, he, he's not sort of just out there looking out for our best interest. And by the way, on the left, they sort of revere these doctors. And I do appreciate people that have gone to med school and are helping people get healthy. But where is the conversation about health? All it is is vaccines, vaccines, vaccines. They've closed our parks. They've closed our gyms. They've closed our walking trails. And we know that 80% of the people hospitalized with COVID have been obese. What right. does this tell you? It should well, tell Dr. Fauci something. I, I, I do need to take a closer look at Dr. Fauci and the, what, you, what you raised there about the vaccine. I, I don't know much about that, but that is worth a closer look. And real quickly, as we go to break here, we talked about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Thumbs up or thumbs down from everybody on her uh, pull-up form. I'm going to say thumbs up because it's more than I can do. We see the video here. We'll play it for everybody as we go to break. Oh, well, she's doing the list here. We'll get to the pull-ups, which come shortly. Clean and press. I'm impressed. Clean and press. Uh, that's way more that's than legit. I can do. Yes. Uh, that's so. Legit. So shame on the haters, but haters are going to, here come the pull-ups. Oh, well, maybe we'll see them eventually. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, the meme team is coming back in the second hour. We'll have everybody's memes of the week. Don't go away. We've got plenty more coming up on John Bachman now. A horrific train crash in Taiwan. Taiwan, I should say, has left dozens of passengers dead. We'll bring you the latest on that story. Your catch-up's coming up.